Ready. Call the ball. Hey man, one, two, three, go. Hey folks, I've made the bad life decision to, uh, in the middle of the summer in southern Georgia, get out here pouring sweat. I haven't even done anything and I'm pouring sweat. Uh, the big idea is we're working body position transition and mainly just standing to kneeling while working cover. The real big idea is how do I get from standing to kneeling to pop out to come back and utilize cover with good fluid uh, movement of the body. So we're dealing with uh, positional transitions from standing to kneeling and back again. What I'm looking to do is keep a good wide base. I want a good enough wide base so that when I pop out to pie a different angle, I don't barn door over, lose my balance. And I'm also keeping uh, my legs and hips under me well enough so that I'm able to jump back behind cover if all of a sudden I needed to. So that's what I'm dealing with. Also, I want to be a, a real stable base in the event that somebody bumps me or I'm carrying extra weight that barn doors over me, a kit or whatever, I don't fall over. And so uh, that's what I'm really dealing with. Uh, this method is mine. I've developed it over years and years. It works really well for me and my body type. I'm kind of a spider monkey when I move around a little bit, and if you have a baseline of flexibility and a decent amount of agility, this is going to work really good for you. If you don't have enough flexibility to just get down on your haunches like that and sit on your foot, this is not going to be good for you. Uh, there's uh, When you're, we're working with cover, there's a, a knee up method that we can use, and then there's also a knee down method. I use both. But generally, if I have my druthers and I can plan out just a moment what I'm going to do, I'm typically going knee down. If you do this right, there's no real big disadvantages for it in the way that I do it. So first off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of model what you already saw me shooting out here before on the range. I just did a real quick course of fire run and gun. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly the mechanics of what's happening and then I'll demo it again for you. All right, let's, uh, let's get behind some cover. Let's go, catch up, hustle, double time. All right, very good. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna square off on this target. You got three targets down in front of you. I'm not gonna shoot because I will assassinate horses. There's horses. Hey, horses, move. Hey, uh, ears. Ears are on. Hey guys, get out of here. Wrong way. They're not heeding your message. <laughs> horses, move. Go away! <laughs> and I'm shooting steel. All right, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> I can't. I can't do much with the horses there because I want to point a gun at them. Yep. There's the horses. We're having horses. We're having technical difficulties here on War horses, move. Range. Really? We're trying to scare horses away. Really? And. They won't vominos. Guys, move! Oh, there they go. They don't like that. Seriously? No, they want to eat some food. <laughs> what brave horses. These are combat ready horses. They are ready for action. That's what we need to do. We need to, we need to bring horses back. They don't run out of gat. Well, you got to feed them. There you go. There we go. And stay out! Just kidding. You're good horses. There we go. Good horses. <laughs> All right. Reset. Here we go. All right, folks. So again, don't troll me about proper use of cover. You don't know what context I've got rocking out here. Suffice it to say, I'm going to back up off this cover just enough so that my weapon manipulations aren't impeded and I'm not flagging anything when I post out. 
So anyway, this isn't about a proper use of cover. It's about how to get from standing to kneeling and have a good enough base so that I can pop out and pop back in really quick with a wide base. And if I underestimate the angle or my sub, the target that I'm about to engage has moved over slightly and I don't get far enough, I can pop out a little bit more and play that angle. Sometimes it's really good when you play that angle perfectly, but oh, you just got their shoulder and you got to go a little bit farther. Now you, hey, barn door over and that's no good. So I like a, a base that's going to have a little bit of a wiggle room for me and this is how I do it. Uh, standing is just as you would expect. I'm fully behind cover and when I pop out, I'm ready. I'm good to go. It's just my shoulder that's really uh, presented to the target. My pelvis is way behind cover and I'm good to go. If I want to kneel, if I want to kneel, first off, if I want to kneel here, all I'll do is basically drop my weight straight down right here, and I am good to go. Uh, good body position. This is just how I happen to land here. Sometimes I may be here. Sometimes I may be a bit more like this. Uh, but really, I am sitting on my foot. I'm sitting on my foot. All my weight is there. So really, this doesn't require any muscle. If I was carrying a bunch of weight, if I had my body armor on, it wouldn't really make much of a difference at all. So I like that. Now, let's say that I needed to be a little bit greedier with the angle here. Go ahead and pop behind me so that you can see this angle. Let's say, okay, I've got this target, but then I noticed the shoulder of target two right over here, and I need to get there. Now, if I just post out here, you see my falling problem, right? So what I can do now, since my weight is back on my foot and butt, I can kick my knee out. And look how much, uh, much greedier I can get with the angle. And if I need to come back behind cover, whoa, pop, whoa. Pop, greedier angle, greedy angle, and back. See that? So my weight's back, it's really low, and I have something that I can pivot on and use my knee to get way out there. Now, some of you guys would be like, well, I don't wanna get shot in the knee. I don't wanna get shot in the knee either, but the idea is to get out, have a good base, so that I can hide behind a wall of furious lead and stop the threat as quickly as possible. So it's always a gamble, it's always a game of give and take. And if you come out so that nothing is exposed to the target area at all, a lot of times we underpredict our target, and if we try to go a little bit farther, we barn door over it, which doesn't allow us to get back behind cover really quickly, and there you got a really big problem. So uh, it's just not very re realistic to say, and my foot will never be exposed behind the target. It works great on a range when the targets don't move and you know exactly where they'll be, and in real life, when people are moving around, it just doesn't work all the time. So that's how I landed on this. Here's the steps. Right here's my normal standing body position right here. And I can be foot forward, foot back. Doesn't really matter what my stance is. My platform's always stable. And my feet may be doing a number of different things depending on my cover and depending on what I got going on around me. Basically, here's my steps. I'll take one little step back and I'll sit on my foot. Boom, sit, sit on my foot and then my knee goes down after, just like that. This will also save you guys a whole lot of heartache. You know, if you're running and gunning or you're in the dark and you go to take a solid knee all of a sudden really quick and your knee plants down on a rock, you may be out of the fight because of that. You know, I think, oh, adrenaline will save me. Yeah, it may save you for a few minutes, tops. But if you crush this knee on a rock and something in the dark, your knee only has a certain number of sharp drop downs before it starts to go. This is really low impact and I can do it really quick. So, uh, so watch here, I'm shooting bang, 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 here. See, my knee is on the ground now. I'll do it again. See that? It's easing. All I'm doing is sitting here and the last thing I do is set a knee down. And this knee can be real tight behind cover so my knee isn't exposed to the target at all. And if I need to come out a little bit wider, I can pop out wide or really wide and then get everything back real quick. Wide, back. Got it? Uh, the other is works just the same. Let me work just kind of standing right, standing left, kneeling right, kneeling left. And I'll throw in some uh, rifle transitions as well for you. Here we go. Standing right, back behind cover. Standing left, good, back behind cover. Transition, right here, my weight is pat. Now my weight is passing from right foot to right, the left foot, and I go ahead and hit down, back out. Good to go, right here, oh yeah. Feel good, I need to get a little greedier up. Good. Good.
Groovy. All right, hey guys. So uh, I hesitated to even teach this because this is one of the uh, one of the skills that you kind of see it. You see, it like, okay, I comprehend that. Uh, but it's kind of I'll teach this in a class, a rifle one class or a pistol two class. Uh, and if you guys are interested in training with me, I'll put a link to my website. I travel the country. I do this professionally. This is what I do. I teach firearms and tactics stuff. But generally, this is one of the skills where I show it to someone and they say, okay, roger that. And then they try to do it and they suck. And they need some personal coaching. And every single person is a little bit different when it comes to approach something like this. Some body types it just won't work for. Some, and it's because you got a body type a little bit like mine. This, you may be just gelling. It's nice, smooth, and efficient. Nice, stable. You can pop out. Out, not overrun your cover works really really well but this is one of the kind of things where I need to get behind you position you say no knee goes here each time this is how you gauge the distances uh, you need to have your weight back you why are you relaxing this and so it's one of those things that you're gonna have peculiar and very very specific problems as soon as you try to work cover and body position transition so hopefully you guys are able to feel your way through this some may but uh, Suffice it to say, when I teach stuff like this, it's a little microcosm. It's like a little snippet to get you ready for something that's like a big class where you really learn all the stuff that you didn't know that you didn't know. <laughs> train hard, train smart, guys, and I hope this was helpful for you, even if you never make it out for a class. I do want to give you value and hope you found some today. See you guys.